Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Ignore me on the side, my audio corrupted. But do you want to get better at parrying and be able to do parries like this? Bruh. It was at this moment he knew he f***ed up. Well, then you're going to follow exactly what I tell you right here because I'm going to show you how to get the golden parry, Ash of War, which is a great way to increase being able to get a parry because it increases your active parry window frames. So we're going to start at the outer wall, Phantom Tree, Site of Grace. Now, if you find this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below about what shield you're going to put this on. But now I'm going to show you where it is. So all you want to do is follow my character, but you're pretty much just going up these stairs, and then eventually you will see the orb, which I will show you. And then you're going to be shooting that and then that's all there is to it but the actual how you get better at parrying is with this golden parry it increases your active parry frames to 14 when compared to on like a regular medium shield you're at like five and the startup time is really short too so it's a lot easier to time it so you just naturally get a little bit better at parrying and with this one you can also be standing a little bit out of range of the actual enemy to practice your parrying because of how it does an arc in front of you. Now that scarab right there is what you're trying to get. I just threw a lightning bolt at it to get it because you need something a little ranged to get it. And there we go, we got the golden parry. And now, honestly, you'll become a parry god. I'm not even gonna lie. All you gotta do is just practice. It should make it that much easier to parry because now you have three times the window of active parry frames to parry it compared to before, you didn't have that. and it was probably a lot harder can for reference the buckler shield has 11 parry frames which is still good but the golden parry brings that all the way up to 14 and you can put on the buckler shield or you can put on any shield you want so you can put on a medium shield and still get all the benefits of physical damage negation like a medium shield would and get the really good parry so it's honestly the best of both worlds and there's no downside to either way but the single most best tip i can give you about how to just get better at parrying in general is to watch the actual hand of the enemy rather than the weapon because it's all based off of when their hand starts to move towards you that's when you want to go for the parry and if you start practicing that i guarantee you will get way better at parrying but now i'm going to break it down for you in slow-mo so let's say you're fighting this albaneric here and what you're going to do is you're going to wait till you start to see that hand move back right there and then you're going to start the parry when it's starting to go back towards you then you have the parry, that's all it is to it. And each enemy is obviously gonna be a little bit different, so you just gotta learn their different timings. But that's the breakdown of how you do that. So with all that being said, if you did find this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're looking for how to farm runes, then you're gonna click this video right here, where I teach you how to do just that.